In lesson number one, we have the following concept of you write what you hear. Concept of symbols representing sounds. Symbols for the sound of A, E, N, M, T, and D. We have here shorthand symbols for punctuation, paragraph, and capitalization. In shorthand, silent letters are omitted and other letters may have different sounds. The following are examples of English words with their shorthand spelling in an explanation of the sounds. For example, word we have name sounds N-A-M as name. Explanation is that E is silent. Next, right. R-I-T as a sound. G-H is considered as a silent. Next, navy. Navy, the sound is N-A-V-E as navy. The Y sound like E. And next, we have stay. S-T-A and then Y is silent. Next, we have the word face. Face sounds as F-A-S, face. And the C sound like an S. Let's proceed with the sound of A, E, N, and M. The shorthand symbol for A and E are circles that are differentiated by size, much the same as they are in longhand. The A is a large circle. So let us try to write it down. The E is a small circle, so you need to observe proper proportion and alignment. The shorthand symbols for N and M are straight lines written forward along the line of writing. The N is a short straight line, so let us try to write it. The M is a long straight line. So like again, let us try to write it down. The symbols for each sound in a word are joined together to form a word called an outline. Now, we have here the following words contain the long sound of A, E, N, and M. For example, we have here me, as in M, E, me. Next, we have here may. As in M A May, followed by mean. M E N. You observe how it is written. Next, we have here main. M A N. Next, we have here the word knee. N E Knee. Next, name. N A M name. And lastly, we have here the word aim. A M aim. Next, we have here the sounds of T and letter D. The shorthand symbols for the T and D are upward slanting straight lines differentiated by length. The T is a short slanting straight line, upward. Huh? The D is a long slanting straight line. Please take note, in writing the outline for T and D, you need to observe the proper proportion and alignment. Normally, T is half the size of a D. Let us have the following T, D words. First in line, we have day. D, A, day. Meet, M, E, T, meet. Meet as in M, E, E, T. And meet as in M, E, A, T. So we have here same outline, different word, and different meaning. Now, 
let's proceed with the punctuation, paragraph, and capitalization symbols. Since ordinary longhand, marks of punctuation are similar to some of the shorthand symbols that will be represented in later lessons, special symbols are used to represent those punctuation marks. We have the following punctuation and paragraph symbols. First, we have the period. Let us try to write it down. Next, question mark. It is written this way. Next, paragraph. Next, comma. Take note that it is inside a circle or it is encircled. Next, semicolon. Same with the comma. Next, colon. Inside a circle. Next, we have here hyphen. It is written this way. Followed by dash. Exclamation point. Left parenthesis. And lastly, right parenthesis. Shorthand capitalization is indicated with a pair of tiny upward slanting straight symbols. These capitalization marks are placed underneath the word to be capitalized at the end of the outline. The first word of each sentence is, of course, capitalized. We have the following capitalized words. First, we have here may, M-A, then the capitalization mark. Next, we have here DEEN, D-E-N, capitalization mark. Next, we have here AME, A-M-E, then capitalization. And that completes our lesson one. Again, we discuss the following topic. Concept of what you write, what you hear. Concept of symbols representing sounds. The symbols for the sound of A, E, N, M, T, and the D. The shorthand symbols for punctuation, paragraph, and capitalization.